A personal development plan is a plan of action that details a person's realistic aspirations and maps out methods by which these aspirations can be achieved. For a personal development plan to be successful, there must be considerable overlap between the aspirations of the organisation and that of the employee. The best way to develop a PDP is to work in conjunction with the employee using the following steps. First, schedule career development discussions monthly, quarterly or annually. Second, encourage open and frank dialogue. Third, ask clear questions about the employee's needs. And last, prepare a written plan that both the employee and the company can refer to throughout the development process. While creating the goals of the plan, use the SMART methodology. Set goals that are specific. A specific goal has a much greater chance of being accomplished than a general one. Make sure it defines who's involved, what you want to accomplish, when you want to accomplish it by, what you require to accomplish the goal, why accomplishing that goal benefits the individual as well as the company. Measurable. Establish tangible benchmarks for measuring progress towards the accomplishment of each goal you set. To determine if your goal is measurable, ask questions such as how much, how many, how will I know when it's accomplished. Do take a look at our case study to find out more about measuring performance. Attainable. When you identify goals that are most important to you, you begin to figure out ways you can make them come true. You develop the attitudes, abilities and skills to reach them. You also look for opportunities to help you in the achievement of your goals. Realistic. To be realistic, a goal must represent an objective towards which you are both willing and able to work. They should always be grounded in reality. For example, increasing sales by 50% over a 12-month period is more realistic than a goal to increase sales by 200% in a month. Timely. A goal should be grounded within a time frame. With no time frame tied to it, there's no sense of urgency. If you want to reduce customer complaints by 25%, give yourself a deadline by which you want to have achieved this target. Just saying soon or someday won't work. Setting specific deadlines, for example the end of the year, will give you a deadline you can work towards. If done right, personal development plans yield great benefit to both the employee and the company. Benefits to employees usually include increased motivation, better job satisfaction, sense of pride, sense of direction, employee engagement. Benefits to the organisation can include increased productivity, increased profits, growth, increase in market share. Empowering your employees in their own personal development plans is also a way to demonstrate your interest in their professional development. This investment in them will increase their morale and engage them in ways that will positively enhance your bottom line. For more information about developing personal development plans for your employees or any other HR related inquiries, please visit www.sjbeelhrconsult.co.uk